for excellence. Greg Koch here, Wild Wood Guitars. That starts with a W, just in case you're wondering. Epiphone Shirt and Two, not your Shirt and One. Okay, listener? Shirt and Two. Roman numeral Two. Dig it. Glorious sounding instrument, I'll tell you what. Talk about bang for your buck. This thing is rocking with... I'm not going to say docking, okay? But it's rocking, period. Okay? Rocking, period. Available in natural ebony and vintage sunburst. This would be the vintage sunburst. A glorious presentation. A laminated maple top and body. Maybe saying, what's the difference between this and uh, a Gibson USA one? Magical dust, perhaps. But it's a glorious sounding. But there's, there's a poly finish on this as opposed to nitrocellulose. Just to let you know. Okay, what? Hard maple set neck. You know what that means? That means it's tone time. Slim taper neck profile. This thing is comfy as the day is long. I just, sometimes you're just detached, looking at your hand going, how am I doing this stuff? The hand just is being able to caress this thing with a vehemence and parallel, and that's important. All that kind of out-of-body experience is what this guitar brings to you. That ability to leap out of yourself. <laughs> what? That sounds mysterious. Rosewood fingerboard. Two Alnico Classic Humbuckers, made with Gibson USA design components, okay? The pod switches, you name it, are pro quality, okay? So the pickups themselves, the components are made in the USA. Freedom! Okay, even though they're made overseas. Freedom! The parts are made in the US of A. That's important. Gold hardware, I don't know about you, but nothing says freedom to me like gold hardware. You know why? USA! Okay, dig it. Tunematic bridge, stop bar tailpiece. Cool thing about these new things is that sometimes when you take the strings off and you're restringing, this thing just goes shkadoidle and starts going down the river. Because if you're by the river doing some meditating while you're playing a guitar, that could be a hazard, okay? So what they put in here is special, no, this is a technical term, doohickeys to keep the bridge in place as well as your savory stop bar little thing of Baba Rooney. These are all technical terms, now stand clear, okay? But I wouldn't recommend taking all the strings off. Okay, just change strings one string at a time. Just a little secret, okay? Don't do it all at once. The tension, the guitars don't like that. I think we've said all the glorious things about this guitar. You know, you just heard the neck pickup all by itself, which is a meaty, but yet very articulate morsel here. Great tone, it's, very, it's got a glassy thing going on, and, uh, but it's still got the meat of a humbucker. But, you know, really, really good humbucker guitars should sound like just beefy single coils, just to let you know. Shouldn't be a mid-range fest, fest, excuse me. And this one's got it. Very dynamically sensitive when I lean into it. Sounds killer! Let's go to both pickups together and see what we got going on here. Thank you. 
This thing sounds damn good. <laughs> Island! Let's go to that bridge pickup, see what we got going on here. Yeah. Mm hmm. What can be said about this Epiphone Sheraton too? Other than that, it rocks my brain. Really a good sounding guitar. Plays great, but each pickup selection sounds magnifico. Very dynamically sensitive. That's what I look for. There's no struggle in playing this guitar whatsoever. Greg Koch at Wildwood Guitars. Later, cats. <laughs> 